sending data to a view. This is the backbone of the whole MVC story. We shall now learn what is sending data to a view and how to do that and why do we do that. You have seen web pages. This is the Google News page. News items appear. One, two, and so many of them. The objective of, if you ask me about 75 or I would sometimes say about 90 percent of the websites is to display data on the web page, present the data. After all web is information highway. The main objective is to display data on a page. And I'll call this page a view. We are going to learn how to mix data into this view. Data is going to come from a source of data which could be a database for example and other sources like uh, writing data just in time. The objective at the end of the day is spilling this data on the page. We shall be spending most of our time in learning this whole concept which is intricate and complex. How is it done actually? So why, why we do? Because it's our objective to display data on the page. But uh, how is it done? What is the root map? See this one. Till now you had a home controller. Inside it you add an action. And here inside this action you were writing those database queries and at the end of the day you were returning a string to the user. This string was displayed on the page. This is one way of showing data to the user. But nobody uses it in practice and it's hardly of any use. Because if the question is about displaying a string then there are other methods available in MVC. What we have to do is this. This is your action. Here some query is done. Instead of returning a string, instead of returning a string from here, you will return a view by passing this object into it. This object is loaded with data. and only single object can be passed. This data is obtained by querying a database and fully loaded with data. It is passed to the view. But what is this view story? I'll draw here. View is another file with extension CSHTML, C sharp HTML. This contains a lot of HTML written into it and also symbolic.